society, culture, politics, and lifestyle. Who are the people? What are their values? All these are brought to you on the compelling show, Dr. You Show. A total package that tells the latest events on the social, political, and economic spheres of life. Dr. Yu Shu, an experience worth having. Welcome to your weekly tonic, Dr. Yu Shu, transmitting live from Uyo, the capital city of Akwaibom State, Wemedi Mo Umana. Is my name your anchor? The show is about the people, it's about society, it's about culture. On this edition of the show, we will bring to you what the people say about Umoino, the gubernatorial aspirant, the leading one of the People's Democratic Party in Akwaibom State. We would take a trip to the city of Port Harcourt, you know, where the gubernatorial aspirants, all of them went for their screening exercise, you know, to be eligible to contest the primaries of the People's Democratic Party and thousands of people who trooped out to, you know, to give him the needed support. Next governor of Akwaibom State come 2023. He is a good man. He is a man with integrity. He does not have any bad record. Ribumoino 2023 is for sure. Akwaibom State shall be great again. Pastor Moino is God's gift to Akwaibom State. This is a man with integrity. This is a man who has been tested and trusted. This is a man that the whole of Kwaibom State should give special thanks to Governor Dumi Manuel. Umoino's aspirations is a target and a tax. Somebody that has served in the public sector and has done excellently well at the public sector and equally served in the private sector and has done perfectly well in the private sector. I believe for him being an aspirant and the preferred candidates by their Akwaibom people. When you look at Omoino antecedents and an entrepreneur, which I know that if he comes into power by special grace of God, he will do well. Pastor Omoino is a brand. And she is, the name is Eno. He's a gift to Akwaibom State. He's a man that has capacity to continue from where our own government would be man of And you can see from his uh, president, uh, he's an employer of labor. What Nigeria and the world is now is creation of jobs. He has he done that as a private man, and I know as a governor of Kwaibom, he's going to create more jobs for Kwaibom State. And why not? It's a gift from God to Kwaibom. So we are happy that the Lord God of Kwaibom has not forsaken us. So we are happy to have him as our government. Come it's so colorful, it's so beautiful, with thousands of supporters here to you know give him the needed support. The show we have fielded questions from people on what they say about Pastor Omar Basieno and they have made some very remarkable and profound uh, statements about his you know his aspiration you know which all bother on them um, you know transforming the lots of the people of a quiet bomb state you know they carry me the play Another segment of the show is going to be the interview, the chat with Uwem, you know, where T.Y. will be talking about morality in acting and the movie industry in general. So you stay tuned and enjoy the show. It's going to be interesting, scintillating, entertaining and enjoyable. Welcome to a compelling 
segment on Dr. You show. Let me do more on my next my name once again. And I have a beautiful guest with me here, T.Y. Yes. T.Y., good to see you. Good to see you too. So you see, tell us one or two things about T.Y. that we do not know. Mm -hmm. I have so, a lot to say, but okay, you said two things. Yeah. Okay, my name is Toyo Okwan Okokam. T.Y. for short. I'm an actor, I model, and I also make clips. Okay, so what, what do you do generally? As an actor, actor, whoa, 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 whoa. I interpret characters. You know, it's very, it's an exciting work for me because I get to be, you know, different people every day. Like today, I can actually be a lawyer. Tomorrow, I can be a doctor. I can act as a wife, a house help. So it's very exciting what I do, and I love it. Wow. <laughs> Which of the characters do you like most? Um, you know, I actually acted a role where I was shooting God, a okay. role, and I loved it so much. Like the act, um, the soldiers that were on set were asking me if I've handled the gun before because of the way I was shooting. So I really like that. That's a real gun? Yes, but there was no bullet inside. What are your prospects in acting? Where do you want to be? Well, I dream big, yes. And I also envision the Oscars getting to Hollywood. So I'm really working towards it. Hollywood? Hollywood, yes. What new thing uh, do you want to you wanna bring into the movie industry? Um, originality. Okay. Yes. That's something that is very important to me. I don't just act because I like being in front of the camera. Mm. I like telling original, original stories okay. about our culture, about other people's culture. You know, just representing whatever character I'm given to play, bringing the originality. To that so, what makes our culture unique? Yeah. Well, what, what do we really have that others don't have? Oh, so much. Okay. So much. Ranging from uh, the way we dress, the way the family is built here, the parents, the way we relate with our children. Okay. It's amazing. Our dressing, our food. Mm. We have so much. Mm. This should be like a tourist center because we have a lot to offer. Can you really use the movie industry you know, to bring something significant to inculcate some very important values on these kids? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. But you know, how, people how, learn how movies. do you intend to do that when even the movie stars that don't dress well? Not every movie star. It depends on your vision for your life. That's why I always tell people, whatever you embark on, have a vision. I have a vision. So I know that people are looking up to me. So there are certain things I cannot do. So you want us to see a very promising or a very promising T.Y. who is going to contribute meaningfully to the lot, movie industry. A lot. Yeah, I'm and, going to contribute. And societal and values. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that's how far we can go. I want to say thank you for thank you, you know, the, being on Dr. Your Show. We, we hope to have you again some other time. <laughs> Anytime. Good to see you. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Uh, wow. That's how far we could go. It was interesting, wasn't it? Skiddy learning too. That's what the show is all about, Dr. You Show. So signing out is Uwe Medi Moment. Until next week, enjoy your week. Bye-bye.